Hi, this is Textbook from 360 Mods, and today I'm going to show you how to modify an Xbox 360 Hitachi version 79 without using a mod chip or a programmer. Today, Podra released his 79 Unlock, and that's what we're going to use. This is the Hitachi 79, and uh, I'm going to hook it up with the SATA cable. It's my VIA chipset. I'm using a connectivity kit, and I've rigged together my own power switch for it. You can use your Xbox 360 to power it, that's fine. Uh, you need a Slax 2.1 CD already burned. Uh, I already burned the 79 unlock WAV file to a CD. You also need a retail movie, or like a DVD, or game I'm using the Red Wing Stanley Cup DVD. First thing to do is boot from your Slax CD to put the Hitachi into mode B. You gotta have your BIOS set to boot from CD first. And uh, with my VIA chipset, it usually works best if I have it have the drive connected with SATA, but uh, powered off, and then powering on as soon as Slack starts to load. You should get a message like spinning up disk, followed by a series of periods. When this happens, you want to hit eject on the Hitachi drive, and Slack should continue to load. At that point, uh, the drive is already in mode B, so you don't actually have to continue loading. Alright, Slack is starting to load, so I'm going to power on the drive. Hopefully you get the spinning up disk message. Yep, you get it right there. I'm going to hit eject. And drive should be a mode B. It should take two presses of eject to open and close. And it does. So I'm going to unplug the SATA cable, reset the PC, and take out the Slax disk, or else it will boot right to that again, and boot into Windows from the hard drive. At the Windows loading bar, I'm going to hot plug the SATA cable and open up the drive, or open and close the drive a few times. There's my grub bootloader. Select Windows. There's the Windows loading bar, so I can plug in the SATA. And then open and close the drive a few times. First thing you want to do is uh, determine your drive letter, the Hitachi drive. Easiest way to do that is to go into My Computer and then right click Eject on all of your CD drives. And when the Hitachi ejects, you know that's the drive letter. There's Windows. Get a few startup programs, so my computer's kind of slow at boot up. Wait a little while. Alright, go to my CD drives. I 
think it's this one, the F drive. So I'm going to hit eject and see if the Hitachi ejects. Alright, so I know that my Hitachi drive is the F drive letter. Alright, now it's time to insert the 79 unlock CD. It's got a WAV file on it, and you can play this right in Windows Media Player. You want to let the track play completely once. It's only a few seconds long. Then you want to start playing it again and pause it immediately. Then you can close out of Media Player and then hit Eject on the drive. You don't want to eject from uh, the right click menu this time. You want to eject on the, you know, if you're using your Xbox 360 to power it, you want to hit Eject on there or your connectivity kit. Once you've uh, done that, you've played the file and paused it, then taken out the disk, you want to open up uh, the 79 unlock folder in the command window. You want to type 79 unlock as one word, and a space, and your drive letter. In this case, it's an F. So I typed 79 unlock space F. Hit enter, and underneath that it says done with an exclamation mark. And close out of this, and now you can proceed to flash it just like it was a 78 drive. Insert the DVD. Close out of the autoplay. And open up Toolbox. So now you dump it just like you would a 78 tools, direct drive dump. You can see the 79 is listed, so hit raw dump firmware. We'll just name it original. You can see that it's dumping the firmware. You can do a checksum validation and open it. And you can see your key. You can do all the other stuff, tools, uh, smart hack patcher. Save it as hacked. Open that, and then tools, drive flash, patch, uh, we drive and detect differences, and flash it. Alright, and that's it. So now the drive's flashed, and it'll play backups. And you didn't have to open up the drive at all, uh, or solder or anything. It was really easy. Uh, I want to thank uh, Maximus for Toolbox and Podger for this uh, 79 unlock. It really makes things a lot easier. That's it.